In order to finalize your parameter project, you're going to create a scale using the equation for your line. So you're going to need to go back to the graph that you created, find the equation, and you're going to want to write that down. So mine was y equals 0.62x plus 26.491. Again, don't use this equation, go get your own equation. But then once you have that, you're going to get yourself 10 data points. We're going to divide your scale up by inches and we're going to have one mark at every inch from 0 to 10. So you can label your paper 1 to 10. Um, those are going to be your x coordinates and then we're going to solve using the equation of the line for y. So for the first one, it would be the slope 0.62 times 1 inch plus 26.491 gives me a y coordinate of 27.111. Now I do the same thing, but this time the x will be two for two inches, plus 26.491 gets me a value of 27.731. And you're gonna keep doing this process all the way from one through 10 inches. So I'll finish up one more for you. Uh, 28.351. So again, I'm just using my equation and inputting the number of inches. So when you're done, you should have 10 x coordinates and 10 y coordinates. And we're going to use that to create your scale. So the next thing you'll need is a blank piece of paper, a regular 8.5, 11 uh, piece of paper, which I can give you. You're going to want to label it with your name. So Mrs. Lee's barometer scale. And you'll also need a ruler. So you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna measure from the bottom of the page and make a mark at every inch, again, one through 10 inches. So if I line up my ruler here at the end, I'm gonna make a mark at one inch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are the marks for my scale. Now I'm going to take my calculations and I'm going to label my scale. So at one inch, I said that the, I calculated the pressure would be 27.111 and the new units are going to be inches of mercury. So I'm going to label this 27.111 inches of mercury. Then I go to the next one. At two inches is 27.731. So I go to the next mark and label it with my data point. And again, you're gonna continue doing this for one through 10 inches. And then when you're done, you should have a scale that looks like this. Once you've completed your scale, you're going to wanna do a couple of different things. You're gonna to wanna to take a picture of it and save that picture because you're gonna input that into the blog post for this particular project. And then you're going to want to take one last measurement with your barometer, but using this scale. So you'll take your scale outside, and instead of using the piece of paper you had been using, you're going to hold this piece of paper up and put it behind your barometer. Just as before, let the barometer sit for five minutes or so, and then you're going to make a mark as far as where the needle is placed. So let's say that my needle fell right about here. I'm going to make a mark. Once you've made your mark, I need to figure out like how, what this number value should be. So you can, the best case scenario would be to use a ruler, but if you aren't able to, then you would have to estimate. But if I measure between the one inch marks, it looks like I'm at about 0.75. So I need to figure out what three quarters worth between these two values are. And that's what I would label this number to be. Once I've made that recording, you're going to go again to your, the website that you were using and find the actual pressure so that you can compare the actual to the pressure on your scale to see how close they are. You're going to want to put all of this information into the spreadsheet in Google Classroom, and I will clarify that more with you in class.